Hello, welcome back to part 14 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content. Send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're gonna finish the cursor class, but before we're gonna do that, I want to add a sprite font first. So let's do that and go to your map builder content directory and we're gonna add a new folder and we call it fonts. Alright, and now we gonna click the folder, right click, and we gonna add a new item. And we gonna select here the sprite font. And we give the sprite font a name and we call it the HUD font. Alright? So add this file. And now we have a sprite font file here in the fonts folder. We're gonna close this file and now we need to define and load the sprite font. So go to your game class of your map builder and we're gonna define a public um, sprite font And we call it the HUD font. Right. The font to draw text on the screen. All right. That are the public variables. So now we have to find the sprite font. Now we need to load the sprite font. So we go to the load content method. And now we're gonna say that the HUD font is equal to contents dot load. And we're gonna load sprite font. Alright. And it's in the fonts, and it's called the HUD fonts. So, all right. So let's put the right slashes here. So, and now you can say here that we load the fonts. Right. Okay. Now we can use the font to draw text on the screen. So go to the cursor class, and now we're gonna finish the cursor class. And the first thing we're gonna do is create the constructor. So that's a public cursor, and we need a factor two for the position and the color and we need a float for the scale. Alright, get a local copy of the values passed in and now we can say that this position is position. You're gonna say that this color is color and we can say this scale is scale alright the cursor constructor the position of the cursor the color of the cursor, 
the scale of the cursor. So constructor. All right. And with the constructor done, we're gonna now build the load content. So public void load contents and then we need the content manager All right and now we can load the cursor texture All right and here we're gonna say that the texture is content dot loads you're gonna load a texture 2d right and now we need a cursor texture so if you have buy the content go to your content directory go to your sprites directory and here you find the cursor we are gonna need so we're gonna copy this file and now we need to add another folder in our content project of our map builder so let's do that add new folder and we call it sprites and we're going to paste the cursor in that directory so paste and now we have the cursor png in our sprites folder right okay and now we're going to say here sprites and we need to load the cursor right and of course we need the origin of the texture so set the origin to the center of the cursor texture right so we can say here origin is a new vector 2 and now we need the texture width divided by 2 and the texture height divided by 2 alright that's the load content load the content for the cursor the content manager uh, this is the loads content All right okay now we need the updates method so public void updates game time right and now you're gonna say here that we need to get the current mouse state so we say here that the current mouse state is mouse get state right and now we're gonna set the position of the cursor so set the new position of the cursor so position is new vector 2 and now we're gonna say current mouse state dot x and current mouse state dot i right and now we're gonna build another function snap to grid right snap the cursor to the grid so 
and the function called snap to grid and that's a function we're gonna need to build so let's do that alright it's a private void and we're gonna say that we make it a public well, a public, and we're going to make it virtual. All right. And now we need to implement the function, and that's the position minus equals a new factor two, and we're going to say position dot x modulus and now we're going to say here came one dot tile size right and the same for the i position so position dot i modulus came one dot tile size right snap the cursor to crits and later you shall see how this function do his job All right and this is the update update the cursor All right. This is the snap to grid. All right, and now we need to build the draw. So let's do that. And that's a public for its draw, and then we need the sprite bed. draw function we're gonna draw the cursor so let's do that draw the cursor on the screen so right paths dot draw and we draw the texture on position we're gonna leave this null and then we're gonna use the color and this is gonna the rotation value we have to, don't have a rotation value so we set it to zero then we need to set the origin and the scale and of course the sprite effects oh we need there so the sprite effects that's none and the depth is zero right all right draw the cursor on the screen right draw Right, this was the draw method, so I'm going to finish the tutorial here, and in the next tutorial we're going to implement the cursor in the game class of the map builder, and we're going to start building the tile strip. So, I hope you enjoy, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye.